living God. Isn't it enough? Do I have to follow rules, perform rituals, every day and every hour? God loves me, and it's a fact. Whether I believe in it or not, God is there. That's all that matters. Now, why do I have to call another man father, let alone holy father? Doesn't the Bible say somewhere, call no man father? I don't get it. All this hype for the coming of the Pope? Yeah, I admit, it's kind of cute and friendly. Like a floppy teddy bear or a favorite Lolo. It's nice. He wants to visit our country after all the typhoons and calamities that has shaken us up. But somehow, my journalistic instincts tells me this is just all publicity for the church. Along with Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, and One Direction, Pope Francis is just another celebrity that us gullible Filipinos have swallowed up. And guys, I want exclusive interviews, okay? Heartwarming, tear-jerking, some blood, well, that's good as well. <laughs> Just in time. As I was saying, I was telling the rest of the team that this will be your last project for your OJT. You will be graduating soon, and this project will leave a big mark on your grades. Claire, you're with Francis. Now, what are you going to cover? This is going to be big, guys. You are going to cover the PayPal visit. This is big. The big one in 2015, and it's only January. Dominic. I like your work in those little Pope Francis's. Ha <laughs> ha! That was cute. Good job. Claire, Francis, I want you to cover the MOA thing, you know, with Pope Francis, with the audience, with the family. And I want you to attend the Luneta Mass as well. Now, this is going to be big. We're talking about millions here, guys, okay? Interviews. I want interviews. Parents, youths, volunteers, everyone, including the dogs if you have to. I want quality work. This is your dream. Leave it now, okay? Do I hear a yes? Yes! Okay, come on, let's go, let's go, let's move, 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 work, work, come on, let's go! Clear. Di ba nagtatrabaho sa bati ka ng daddy mo? Baka pwedeng magkaroon tayo ng exclusive interview sa kanya. Um, sabi ni nana, he was a former Philippine ambassador to the Vatican. Pero, Hindi ganun kadali yun. It's not exactly na picture anymore. Oh, sayang! Naisip ko pa naman. Tawagan na natin siya ngayon eh. Pwede sana siya yung biggest lead of the story no, natin. No, Francis! Hindi siya parte ng kahit anong story ah. Lalong lalo na yung sakin. Clear! Sorry! Hindi ko naman... It's okay. Alam ko naman na hindi mo sinasadya eh. Basta tapusin natin itong trabaho na to. Gawin natin yung best natin, okay? Amaya tayo mag-usap. About our plans. 
I have your number. Alam niyang number po. God has a sense of humor. And he's making fun of me right now. I know it. Why? Why of all assignments, I have to get this one? person who was called father. My little Clara, when you can find it in your heart to one day forgive me, please call me. I love you always. I want to be part of your life. I will never stop praying for you. Daddy, Hi, I'm Sess, 18, studying in UP Manila, and I'm here 
because I want to feel the magic that other people are saying. And then just like a while ago, when we asked the LRT guard, then the bad na daan ni Pope. Tapos it's like we just asked him, what did you feel? And he just like touched his heart and he said kakaiba. So I just want to feel. You just want to feel that too, right? We're the Kalinangan Youth Foundation and. We basically promote women's development, music development for women. And we're here to support the Pope because we love him so much. So this is our cheer. It says, Miserando Atque Eligendo. It means lowly but um, chosen. That's his motto here um, as well. As a father, man. Well, uh, of course, we all know we have children that who are, you know, don't obey. It's really hard when you're father. I understand how the Lord feels for us. That uh, because we're his children, no matter siguro, if he's angry, he's still that love like I experience for myself. In spite of how angry I am with them, that's the mercy I give to my children. That's the same that they receive from my children. Kasi ako nang mawa footage eh. Bakit? Buksan mo yung TV. Bilisan mo. Kailangan mo tumapanood. Ha? Huh? Bilis. <laughs> ah, sige, sige. Pumunta na ako. Relax ka lang. Sige, sige. I prefer today speak in Spanish. Canto de ustedes. Perdido parte de la familia. Some of you have lost part of your families. When I saw from Rome the, that catastrophe, Senti que tenía que estar aquí. I felt that I had to be here. Why does he care so much? A storm signal too is coming. He's risking his life just to be there. I'm here to be with you. He's speaking Spanish. But they understand exactly what he's saying. But I'm here. Because it comes from the heart. It comes from his presence. He is like a father that is supposed to be there when his children are crying. Hello. 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 Hey. Hey. Francis, sorry. Uh, I forgot because I'm here. Okay. The others are always telling me. Lagi. Yung iba naman, pati pangalan ko, kaya nakalimutan. Francis. Mm. May gagawin ka ba mamayang gabi? Wala. Wala akong gagawin. Pwede ba tayong magkita? Uh, Saan mag sa tayo magkikita? Flower? Francis! Hindi to date. A alam ko. Hindi to date. Sorry. Hindi ko kasi alam kung paano ko sasabihin to eh. Ito kasing assignment na ito. Nakapektuhan ako eh. Sobra. Sobrang nakakapagod. Biyahe, buyat, deadlines. Hindi. Nakapektuhan ako personal. Alam mo yun. I want to hate this guy. 
gustong gusto ko. Kasi, alam ko, lahat ng father, plastic yan. Kahit na sabihin na, Santo Papa, walang batang dapat iniiwan. Yung pinapabayaan, tinatalikuran. Pero, si Pope Francis, iba siya. He's something else. You know, sabi ni Pope Francis, to be a good father, the first requirement is to be present in the family. To share in everything. Joy and pain, burdens and hopes. Kaya nandito siya ngayon. Kasi gusto niya iparamdam sa atin yung pagiging tatay niya. Yung pagiging present niya. Siguro, gusto lang na tatay mo na maging parte siya ng buhay mo ngayon. Ayaw mo lang siyang hayaan. Alam mo, sweet ka. Salamat kasi sinamahan mo ako dito. for being there. Claire! Paano bukas? Yung visa sa Luneta? Mm, ikaw na lang. May exclusive interview ko sa bukas eh. My name is Miguel Alvarez Diaz. I was once the Philippine ambassador to the Vatican for three years during the time of Pope Benedict XVI and the first year of Pope Francis Pontificate. And now, a legal consultant of the Archdiocese of Manila. <clears throat> And also, 
a father to an only daughter whom I haven't spoken to or seen for 10 years. Hmm. Ambassador Diaz, uh, what can you say about the so-called Pope Francis effect? This is sweeping the world. Is this just major sensationalism or is there something more to it? The secular media appear to be painting Pope Francis as a revolutionary. Everything he does, everything he says, it gives an impact to the people. But for me, the real Pope Francis effect is his humble example that the camera does not see his deep devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, his penance and sacrifices, the sacramental confession, and his respect and reverence to the real presence in the Blessed Sacrament. It is because of this hidden light that he is changing and inspiring the world, even the world not realizing it. The power of prayer and sacrifice. At least ito yung nakita ko na experience ko sa kanya when I was in Vatican. He was so kind and friendly to all of us all the staff and personnel. Everyone was his family, even if we were sinners. I didn't totally abandon you. I was there. On graduation, mo. Nakita ko kung gaano ka kasaya. Kinabitan ka ng mama mo ng medal. Saya-saya ko noon. Iba nung time nang nagkasakit ang mama mo. Bumalik ako from Vatican. Siguro naaalala mo na everyday may mga bagong bulaklak, roses na paborito ng mama mo sa side table ng hospital. Kinausap ko ang mga doktor at nurses. na huwag na lang ipaalam sa inyo. It remained hidden. Even do sa pinakamadilim na sandali mo, nung mamatay ang mama mo, na sementeryo din ako noon, Claire. Pinagmamasdan ka. Gusto kitang lapitan. Gusto kitang yakapin. Pero natakot ako. Nahiya ako. Naduwag ako. Mahal na mahal ko kayo ng mama mo.
Pero sa akin ka nung bata ka And you need the major operation, Claire Pumingi ako ng tulong sa lola mo Sa mama ko Pero dahil mahirap lang ang mama mo, ayaw nila sa kanya. Bilang kapalit, tutulungan ka nila. Pero kailangan ko kayong iwanan. Dumating ka sa buhay namin ang mama mo, kinaya namin ang lahat. Ikaw ang naging kayamanan namin, Claire. Natakot ako. Natakot ako na baka mawala ka. So I decided na sumunod sa gusto nila. Hanggang pinadala nila ako sa Vatican at nag-aral ako doon. Hanggang sa naging ambasador ako. Wala akong magawa. Wala akong alam na dapat ko gawin para iligtas ko. Clara, no? Patawad sa lahat na ginawa ko sa ito, mama mo. Patawarin mo ako ng mga pagkakataon wala ako sa tabi mo. Patawad na ako. Patawarin mo ako, patawarin mo. Pumunta kami dito kanina mga 2.30am. Wala pa kami mga tulog niyan. Kahit nung ulan, andito pa rin kami. Hindi kami alis habang di siya umalis. Why, why I volunteered to begin with? Kahit maulan, simple, hope. Working among uh, persons with disabilities, amputees, and paralytic gave me so much hope that this is where the gospel is really need to focus, to take care of the persons who are marginalized and poor. And Pope Francis really inspired me. Hanggang napakano pag nag-anag siya, pag nagkasalita siya, parang napakano, parang angel po yung ano niya, yung mukha niya. Ang cute niya rin. You're the only Pope who's been able to reach out to even the younger people like us who aren't very religious people. But with you, it's different. Like, we can really relate. So thank you so much. Despite the rains, despite the tragedies that has beset the Filipino people, we are still one. We can still stand and we can still face our future. We need healing with so many disasters, so many survivors who have been hurt, families uh, death and houses uh, destroyed. It's healing, compassion and mercy so that we Filipinos will learn more to be compassionate, caring and loving towards one another. What is the Pope Francis effect? The Holy Father, before arriving to the Philippines, confided to Cardinal Tagle while in Rome that he didn't want this papal visit to center on him. The Holy Father insisted it should center on Jesus Christ. 
the Pope Francis effect should ultimately lead us to the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is most truly present in the Eucharist, the source and summit of our Christian life. This is where life begins. This is where life is fulfilled. This is big. This is the news of the way. This is there, Francis. I want you to go to Moa for the audience, and I want exclusive interviews. Okay, heart jerking. <laughs> there was a rose that faded young I saw its shattered beauty hung Upon a broken stem Upon a broken stem Spudding everywhere I did not answer them I did not answer them Did not answer them I did not answer them What's up there? What's the stage again? It's not coming. What about you? It's not coming.
siya pumapasok sa house. Ano ba ako yung flowers as in wala na sa base? Oo. Oh. Ayun yung bagong 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 Sobrang dami daw ng tao doon, kaya pinisan mo! Claire, go with Francis. 